What's up guys, today we have this. It's the Logitech G MX518 Legendary. It is, well, a mouse. It doesn't really look gaming in the first place, but the specs do say it is gaming. It's got a 16,000 DPI sensor. Um, and that's really it, just a 16,000 DPI. So yeah, it doesn't seem that gaming at all, but we'll see. has some uh, instructions on how to use it and a little cutout of the Logitech G logo on it. Inside we get uh, the mouse itself, obviously. Oh wow, it's got a very reflective coating on there. It has a um, rubber scroll wheel. It doesn't go, it doesn't click side to side like my uh, G502 does. There is a button on top and on bottom of the scroll wheel, weirdly enough. And then a button here, which I'm not exactly sure what it does. But yeah, uh, there, that's the mouse and there's the bottom of it. Here's the wire, it's not even a, a braided cable. Let's see what else is in there. Some instructions, or a little pamphlet about Logitech G. All right. Oh yeah, and the most important thing, a sticker. <laughs> but for real, um, yeah, time to plug this mouse into the computer and test it out. Alright, don't mind the messy desk. Um, right, here we have my MX518 mouse, and I also installed the software. This is called Logitech G Hub, and it's where you can customize um, your Logitech G products. So let's click on the MX518, because that is the one we just got. The G502 Hero is actually my other mouse, as you can see right there. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you would have known, and you have watched my older videos, you would have known I used a uh, Logitech G502 Lightspeed, but I stopped using it because, well, I prefer wired over wireless for due to less lag. I would have had wireless mice, keyboards, speakers, um, headphones, everything, if it was good, right? I, 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 I like the concept of it, but the lag is kind of issue, but hey, this mouse isn't wireless, so let's not talk about that. MX518, let's see. 1600 DPI. No, that's too fast. Still too fast for some reason. Somehow it got faster. Whoa. I think 1500 is a good speed. All right, assignments. We can change what these do, even the primary click. So that means you won't be able to click anything normally. You'll need a second of mouse or something. All right. So you have one customizable button on the top of the scroll wheel, one below it, and one even below it. Uh, the, the one directly above and directly below the scroll wheel, if you can see in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, those are smaller than the one even further below, right here. Currently they're defaulted for different DPI speeds, but what I was thinking <laughs> I'm probably gonna change this soon but this is just for now yeah just leave it at that for now I can delete 
delete this macro. I don't need it. But yeah, there isn't all that much customization to this. There are five um, onboard memory profiles. So I guess if you don't have G-Hub, you can, um, on a another computer or something, you can just save it to these profiles. So about the MX518, apparently they did make this mouse before. Uh, yeah, but then they stopped making it. I don't know why. Then they started making it again as the MX518 Legendary. I don't get them. So I guess they revived a dead product of some sort. Oh, the report rate um, is 1,000, and I guess that means milliseconds. Or 1,000 times a second. I'm not sure. But I always choose the highest speed. How often it reports it to your computer. So I guess the, high, the higher the frequency, then I guess the more responsive the mouse is. I don't know. Anyway, that is the customization for this mouse. Uh, I, might be, I might do some testing with this mouse, see how I like it. Although, seriously, the finish they put on it is one super reflective and also super smooth. Like, it's not this matte finish you'll find on the, the G502, but instead this really glossy finish that, to be honest, is pretty nice now that I, I'm using it for a little bit. And the thing is the design, the design of this mouse. Tell me. If you looked at these two, which one would you say is the gaming mouse? Obviously, is the G502. The MX518 looks like like you would find it in in their in Logitech's standard mice lineup. They're, they're standard mice, not really the gaming mice. Gaming mice, like you'll find it on Logitech.com, not LogitechG.com. But. All right, I'll take their claim for it. It's a gaming mouse, so I'll play some games, uh, use it for, as a normal mouse and all, and I'll tell you what I think. All right, to wrap up this video, um, and my sort of review of the uh, MX518 mouse, it's a nice mouse, okay? I have nothing to complain about it. And yeah, only slight issue is that the scroll wheel. It's about the scroll wheel. When you scroll up, it feels different from when you're scrolling down. Not sure if this is intentional or it's a um, it's an issue, but whatever. It feels different when it scrolls up compared to down, but it works. Um, it's it has a good grip. It's a full size mouse. A uh, good um, optical sensor. Very responsive because it's wired. <clears throat> um, one slight drawback is not there. There's not that many um, <clears throat> customization options uh, compared to the G502 over there in the corner. And this mouse is very lightweight, but the G502 can be if I remove all the weights. But I do like the weights in there in the G5, um, G502. So the MX518 is not weight tunable, it is how it always is. The scroll, the scroll wheel is um, made of rubber instead of metal like the G502. Oh yeah, there's no RGB, but that's not much of it. That's not a big deal because you don't look at the mouse while you uh, use the computer, you look at the screen. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show any gaming footage because I haven't filmed any. Uh, but I did play games with this. Uh, it works fine. Uh, very comfortable. Very responsive as well, which is what you want in a gaming mouse. But not too many, like I said, not too many customization options. So I would say it's good for entry level stuff. Like not really competitive or, you know, hardcore gaming, let's just put it that way. Not for... I, in my opinion, not for hardcore gaming. Go for the G502 or the one with lots of buttons on it. I forgot what its name is. I did an unboxing of it. It's also from Logitech. There are like six buttons on the for the thumb. 
it's nice having opposable thumbs. Um, yeah, that wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.